society has too long answered with abortion. But today we commit loudly and boldly that we will no longer sell them that lie. The Supreme Court this week signaled they are open to upholding Mississippi's abortion law and possibly to overturning Roe versus Wade. It's a historic week for the pro-life movement as the high court on Wednesday took up Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization. The Supreme Court took up a case this week that centers on Mississippi's pro-life law, banning abortions at 15 weeks. Before, during, and after oral arguments, pro-lifers packed the court steps, many with bowed heads in prayer, and with great hope that this could be the case to overturn the 1973 Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision that legalized abortion nationwide. Because Mississippi Attorney General Lynn Fitch directly asked the court to do that with Dobbs. This is a, a, a watershed moment for our nation. This is a day that millions of Americans have been praying for for decades. We can't experience liberty or the pursuit of happiness without first having the most fundamental right, and that's the right to life. This day is critically important. I think for the first time, in my lifetime, we have real hope that Roe could be overturned. This is a long-awaited day. I, along with many others, have been praying and fighting for years. For me, it's been over 17 years that I've been praying and fighting for the ending of abortion. It's truly a long-awaited day and a, a dream come true for us in the pro-life movement. There is a lot of energy outside the Supreme Court. The street in front of the court and the steps are packed with people. Security has closed off nearby streets, and they've decided to do something unique. They've separated the pro-abortion side from the pro-life side here to maintain a sense of calm and peace, and it has been relatively calm. I've spoken with a number of pro-life leaders, from lawmakers to students, and there's a great sense of optimism on behalf of the court. Pro-lifers, for the most part here, are wearing the color blue with the message to empower women and stand for life. And inside the Supreme Court, the conservative majority signaled it likely would uphold Mississippi's pro-life law and may go further by overturning the 1973 Roe decision. If you think that the issue is one of choice, uh, uh, that women should have a choice to terminate their pregnancy, um, that supposes that there is a point at which they've had the fair choice, uh, opportunity to choice. And why would 15 weeks be an inappropriate line? You're arguing that the Constitution's silent and therefore neutral on the question of abortion. In other words, that the Constitution's neither pro-life nor pro-choice on the question of abortion, but leaves the issue for the people of the states or perhaps Congress to resolve in the democratic process. Is that accurate? Justice Sonia Sotomayor pushed back on Mississippi's defense. The right of a woman to choose, the right of, to control her own body, has been clearly set for uh, since Casey and never challenged. You want us to reject that line of viability and adopt something different. The Supreme Court's decision on Dobbs is expected by late June 2022 a little more than four months before next year's congressional elections. Joining us now on Zoom is Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves. Governor, welcome back to the show. It's a big week for your state, and legal analysts seem to believe the court will rule in Mississippi's favor. What's your reaction to how oral arguments went? Well, thanks for having me on again, Catherine. And we were very pleased with the way oral arguments went. The uh, all nine justices asked uh, questions that were in line with what we would have anticipated. And certainly we felt our, our legal team who uh, people all across America and across the globe have been praying for, uh, for for many days now, I thought stepped up and did a, an excellent job. We appreciate Attorney General Fitch and her team uh, and the way in which they represented not only Mississippi, but represented the pro-life movement. Absolutely. And this case is centered on Mississippi's abortion law. Can you clarify what is Mississippi's abortion law exactly? Well, the, the law that is going before uh, the court uh, right now 
is a 15 week abortion ban. And we passed that piece of legislation actually several years ago when I was president of the Mississippi State Senate. So this is a little bit of a, a unique role for me. I get to serve as governor while we're arguing the case before the court, but I actually help shepherd the legislation through the legislative process. And in essence, um, it would not allow for any abortions after uh, 15 weeks of gestation, uh, which we think is certainly in line with what is the um, certainly the, the prevailing laws across the globe. You know, there, there are those on the other side of this argument that would have Americans believe that, that this would put us out of the mainstream. And that's just simply not true. The fact is, um, this is a vehicle also that goes that went before the Supreme Court that allows the court to, to take a look at the Casey case, which was decided way back in 1992. Mm -hmm. And it certainly gives the, gives the court the opportunity to review uh, the Roe v. Wade case that was decided in 1973 that, that I and many, many other uh, people across America believe was, was wrongly decided. Absolutely. And I think a question a lot of people are wondering is, if the Supreme Court does in fact overturn Roe v. Wade, what does that mean for the state of Mississippi when it comes to abortion? Well, and, and I think this is a very misunderstood uh, concept in that um, if the court overturns Roe v. Roe versus Wade, it doesn't mean uh, that abortions are going to be outlawed across the country, even though that would certainly be a, a good outcome from my perspective. But what this, what overturning Roe actually would do is just give the rulemaking and legislating authority back to the state. So what it would do in Mississippi is it would give us the ability um, through the democratic process, it would allow democracy to return to this issue. Mm -hmm. And it would allow us to put as many reasonable restrictions uh, as we wanted to, um, or as the people uh, allowed us to, uh, through our state legislative process. And that's the thing that, that folks just simply don't understand a lot of times is that the Roe v. Wade case gave a constitutional right to an abortion. And I believe if you simply read the Constitution, there is no such constitutional right in our Constitution. Mm. With that being said, I'm curious, have you thought about the fact that it could be your state that ultimately does reverse and undo Roe v. Wade? Well, clearly that would be a, that would be a, a, a great opportunity. It's been a humbling experience this entire week as we have been the epicenter of the pro-life movement across uh, the U.S. Look, I've said repeatedly this week that um, this is the culmination of a long time and a lot of work mm -hmm. since Roe was enacted. And, and quite frankly, it's truly, people have been working to overturn Roe since before I was born. Mm -hmm. um, the Roe was decided in 1973, which is before I was born. And for us to finally get before the court and make the argument that, hey, like has happened many times before when the United States Supreme Court has set bad precedent because they got it wrong, this is an opportunity for them to, to get it right. And, and look, when it comes to abortion, I just want to be clear. Um, the, the fact is, in, in Mississippi particularly, and admittedly, we're one of the most conservative states, if not the most conservative state in America. But in Mississippi, this isn't a political issue. This isn't about Republicans or Democrats or independents. It's not even about right and left. This is a right and wrong issue. And we believe this is an opportunity for the Dobbs case, for the Mississippi case, to help right that wrong that was Roe v. Wade. Wow, you're right. This has been a culmination of decades of pro-life work. Governor, I'd love to ask if you can speak to um, State Attorney General Lynn Fitch and her leadership on this case. Well, we appreciate everything that, that Attorney General uh, Fitch has done. Uh, she and I have been working together uh, for many years now, but certainly um, since we, we passed, since we both got elected in 2019, since she put her team in place. Um, and, and I think uh, they've done an, an excellent job, both from a strategy standpoint and from an argument standpoint before the court yesterday. And it's good to have a, a, a conservative uh, female leading the charge uh, in this legal fight. Absolutely. And we are so grateful for your pro-life leadership and that you took the time to join us during this historic week. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves, thank you so much. Thank you.